Hey guys, Knuckles Dawson here, and today we're looking at Saints Row 2 and the Wrecking Crew achievement, which is completing all levels of the Mayhem activity. Now, the way activities work in Saints Row 2, if you can complete the last level in activity, you can complete all of them, so we're going to show you the final level of the activity. Now, I'm also doing this in co-op because there's an achievement for doing all activities and all levels on co-op, so basically, if you have a co-op buddy, it's in your best interest to do it all at once. I'm also right now just showing you on the map where it spawns. At first, one of the activities spawns in the nuclear power panel I just showed you, and the other one, which is completed here, spawns right by your, you know, starting crib. So, we're going to move on to the final level of this activity here in the apartments district, and because it's in co-op, it's going to be doubling the requirements, so we're going to be doing about 1.5 million in damage. Now, to recap some notes from some previous levels, you start off with unlimited ammo for a bunch of weapons, and on level 1 and 2, you get unlimited grenades, which you can use to do the primary damage. On level 3, you actually get the rocket launcher, and then on level 5 and 6, you get the saddle charge. Saddle charge doesn't work too well in co-op because it actually has a limit, but... The key here, surprisingly enough, is just to shoot debris and stuff. I mean, I actually find that mayhem essentially boils down to how many fences you can break, depending on what area in district you actually get sent to. Here we're sort of in the Chinatown district, and that's where we're doing everything here for the final level. So moving on from that, we are taking out a lot of sort of side things, but we'll find some fences and you'll see that it just really works well. But at the beginning there, we got an initial combo with me and my co-op partner because we have a shared combo. We managed to get a third of the way done with over 500,000 in the first 10 seconds or whatever. We lost the combo after the fact, but if you find a good place, don't necessarily just stop as soon as you get into the district that you need to get into. But find a good spot and just go from there. Because I know there's like some places in the suburbs where you're just surrounded by this neighborhood of residential area. And what do they have between all the houses? Picket fences. So you just go on a fence rampage, which is a little weird, but it gets a job done. I mean, right here, we're doing all right here with a 40 combo and as long as you're both working at it you can keep it going but you know we haven't been playing this for a while because we went through a bunch of other things to get them all up to the last level before moving on to capturing so we were a little rusty either way we still pulled off on our first try which is more than welcome it's not really that difficult you'll find that in single player the saddle charges will really work well because there's not a limit to how many you can plant before you detonate at least not one that i could find and so you just like go and like drop a bunch of these satchel charges along items that are breakable and then you have to pull a trigger for each one. Now here's some fences. Look at this. This is awesome. But back to the satchel charges. You just be pull, throwing them down with the right trigger along a bunch of breakable items. Like a huge string of them. Then just uh, once you get a good string, just left trigger repeatedly take them out. So we're good. Right now we're at a what? 800,000? Yeah. Just getting owned by debris though, just with the backlash of that, but yeah, fences, if you can find a lot of those, it really works out. And then obviously the splash damage isn't too terrible, I've hit myself a couple times here, but you can actually, ouch, you can actually shoot, ouch, damn it, <laughs> shit son, you can blow a lot of shit up really close to you, like cop cars, whatever, so we're just going to switch back to the rockets and take out things, because like, oh man, now we're over a million already, so... Just blow shit up in quick succession. That is the key, but I'm telling you, fences are the main thing you want to shoot. And it's kind of silly, but I'm not kidding. And if you do a better job of keeping the combo together than I have been, we probably could have had this freaking six level in the bag in like half the time. But anyway, here we go. And like an idiot, I just shoot the ground right in front of me, get damaged really bad, and try to run away, but alas, get shot the fuck down. So, even though you want your co-partner to split up and go to separate places so you're not necessarily shooting the same area and cutting to each other's combo, you want to be close enough to revive each other, which is always important. So, thank you to Church's Wife for coming and save my ass. And we're just on this final stretch here, seeing to get another 200,000. I'm just going to find some more fences to take out. And then from there, we will finish this off and get our achievement. Mm -hmm. 
One thing to note is that if you're ever on the outskirts of the district you're supposed to be in, you can actually shoot stuff outside as long as you're from inside. You'll see that I actually walked out of the Charlestown district to get those fences, and I was like, oh shit, I need to move back, and then move back and got it. But here we need just another 100,000 ish to go, and then we will be done continually. Just need to find some more stuff to shoot. Boom. 1.5 million dollars in damage from Mayhem. And there's our achievement, 15 gamer score for Wrecking Crew, and for you guys, for by popular demand, here we go. Welcome to the gun show. And as always, check back to achievement for more videos.